What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today, I've got some more EU4 Common Sense playing as Hesh. Hess. However you say it, help me out there. Last episode, we were fabricating a claim up against Cleves here, the province of Berg. They are a one-province nation. Currently don't have any allies or anything like that, so we're actually at 99% fabricating the claim there. So, the question then becomes, uh... You know, they've got a six stack sitting here. Wow, tons of other countries have a claim on this province, including Cologne, which is just going to piss them off even more. Which is okay with me. Currently my rival anyway. Trier, Munster, and Cleves, of course. Um, Pop-ups. Ooh, we do have some uh, unrest there in Nassau, of course. Eight. Point six years until that probably pops off, so I'm going to actually dis, uh, disregard that for the time being. And Disputed Succession will disregard that for the time being. Yep, and I do have a maximum of seven force limit there. So, I think what we're going to do is actually go over our force limit by one, uh, up to an eight stack, which will give me a 2,000 men superiority in this fight, but we are going to have to probably go through a river crossing and... Yeah. Oh, actually not. If I take a look here, Nassau is not listed there, so maybe not. Um, let's go ahead and unpause it. Okay, we do have the Cassus Belly now up against them. And I have a shitload of alliance offers. Which I'm not going to accept any of them. Cleves, nope. Magdeburg, nope. Aachen, heck no. If I was directly next to them, maybe I would try to ally with them if they would allow me to vassalize them. Anyway, uh, okay, let's unpause it yet again. Going on speed three at the moment. Actually, let's go on speed four because I have to wait for this troop to be finished up. Pretty close to our overall manpower, about 2,000 off there, so not too, too bad. And this is going to take us a minute to build this one infantry unit. Nassau, our new province. Yeah, buddy. You're now part of my country. How does, how does it feel, guys? How does it feel? We're only making plus 0.2 in uh, terms of ducats, but that's okay. We're called the diplomat away from Saxony for the time being. I'm at a plus 200 with them. Plus 176 with Austria, so still feeling okay there. And Luneburg now. Is that right? Yeah, Luneburg. Allied with the Hansa. They're asking me for an alliance. I don't want to because I think Brandenburg is probably going to try to go after them eventually. Although Brandenburg is currently fighting up against Bohemia, Silesia, Mainz, and Saxony. A negative 16 war score there, so not going super well for them right now. Alright, so now I've combined... Up to an 8 stack here. We still have Wilhelm Ham. He's got a maneuver of 3 there. So let's go ahead and declare war. Awesome. It's one of my favorite parts of this game. Take Berg. Uh, neither of my allies will join. Just because Saxony's in another war. They've got some significant war exhaustion going on too. Negative 20. Ouch. Austria. Mm-hmm. They're not going to join me either because they, Berg, or excuse me, Cleves is another member of the HRE. Anyway, uh, let's do it. Declare war. Take Berg, of course. And we'll take our army and march him up here. We're going to have to go into this fort and try to siege it out. Okay, it, is, it does give me negative 0.6 ducats per month, so hopefully this war goes... Smoothly. Oh, I did take a river crossing there. Damn. Uh, looks like we're still in the lead here as far as this fight goes, but it's going to be close. Yikes. Get it, get it, boys, get it. Oh, we lost. Okay. Good thing I have ducats available to me. Let's get an additional mercenary in the mix there just to give me some more numbers when I go into this fight again. I've got to let my stack recharge really quickly. That was really close. How did I misinterpret that river crossing? That is dumb. 
Ooh, Cologne declared war upon Cleves as well. They're going to go in and try the same exact thing. Looks like they're trying to take them as well, and they're going to win out on that. Will this now put me at war with Cologne, though, is the problem. Oh, God, everybody and their brother would join them and help them out. Well, that's dumb. Can't move in here to, to destroy the rest of that army either. And so, if I move in here, I think Cologne is going to get the province now. They've sniffed it out from under me. Wow. So what we can do in the meantime, though, is remove my mercenary units that are super expensive. Okay, now I'm back into the positive cash flow here, plus 0.13 ducats per month. Let's boost the speed up. If they don't take the province, we are taking attrition as well, which sucks, but I want to sit here in case Cologne does not take the province in this battle. Okay, Austria declared war on Gelre. Interesting, interesting. Oh, Cleves has now come over. Ah. Oh, wow. I think... Uh, let's pause it really quickly. Oh, thank you, Austria. Thank you so much. I don't know if you guys saw that, but Austria comes in with a 27 stack and absolutely hammers Cologne's uh, stack sitting there. Because now Cologne is out actually at war with Austria. So once we finish off this small stack here from Cleves... Okay, let's run back over here and take the province and siege it out. Okay, wonderful. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Austria, such a good, such a good ally there. Thank you. It's actually time now to... Whoops, pause it. We need the money, gain five ducats or ten papal influence. We'll take the papal influ papal influence. It's actually time now to upgrade in admin tech. Let's do that. We can now build a temple. How's my tech looking otherwise? Yeah, getting ready to tech up in the other two areas there. And that'll be important. It's always important to be good on technology, at least in your military technology. Yeah, no one else has joined my war. Good news there. Cologne actually holds this province over here, which is going to piss them off significantly. If I'm allowed to take Berg there. And I think that's why they jumped into this war. Because you can see Cologne now is going to be split by somebody. Even if it's me taking the province. Which looks like it will be. Alright, so we'll sit here on speed 4. What else is going on so far in the world? You've got Bosnia fighting Serbia. Looks like Bosnia is winning over there. Okay. We've won the siege. Excellent. So let's try to peace out now. Uh, we will take the province, of course, and give me all of your moolah. 30 gold. 33 gold. Fine. Send. Excellent. Cleves has accepted our generous peace offer. We did get 1.7 prestige, uh, 2.5 aggressive expansion. We did get a little bit of um, inflation from the gold that we took. Fine. Okay. So now... We are back down... Oh! My force limit just went up to 8, so that's good news. Let's go ahead and, first things first, turn the army maintenance down like this. Making almost 1.5 ducats per month now. I'm going to park my stack there in Berg, because we're going to have to now core it. I don't have enough admin points left. I only have 40, so we have to wait a little bit to put a core down on that thing. Oh, Austria is calling us to arms, so let's take a look at see what that says. Come to their aid in the Holy Roman intervention against Gelre, Liege, Cologne, and the Hansa. So we're about to go to war with Cologne, guys. I'm going to boost the army maintenance all the way back up there. We're going to have to let that sort of... Um, oh, jeez. I've got no freaking morale here, so we're going to lose this battle. Uh, Cologne jumps in against me there with this four stack. Wouldn't surprise me if they took this two stack into it as well. Yeah, they're coming in. Yikes. 
the numbers look favorable. We did lose. I only lost a little bit of war score there. Uh, Austria is now going to come in and try to help me, which is nice. Oh, my guys are running all the way down here. Where are you guys going? To Austria? Wow, guys. Either way, I need to start my um, my coring as soon as possible. Where the hell did my stack go? <laughs> He's all the way down here. Wow. That's embarrassing. Uh, march back up here to the capital. Um, upgrading military tech. Let's go ahead and do that. That gives me a boost in my military tactics and morale. So we're going to need both of those in this fight against Cologne. Provence is actually... Um, <laughs> wow, Provence has actually come in and uh, occupied all of Cologne here in the main part. And then so that's going to prevent me from trying to take another province. Which would have been really fun and awesome. However, it would not have been useful because I think my aggressive expansion would be pretty high at that point. So, Liege, Hansa. Liege is over here. Oh, no. That is now part of Austria. This war should be finished pretty soon, actually, I would think. Manpower is sort of suffering at this point. We'll go ahead and upgrade there to Diplotech 4. How am I doing up against everyone else's technology? Uh, actually, pretty good there. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, we'll go ahead and Korberg now. Get that going. Okay, I have two free diplomats. So, uh, things are still great with Saxony there and Austria as well. Um, I'm just going to send one of these diplomats and park him in Austria. For the time being, get the relations score back up, and then we'll switch him and rotate him over to Saxony once that's finished. Okay. Liege is pieced out of this deal now. Pieced out of this war. Still up against Cologne and the Hansa, and it looks like the Hansa is currently being fought against up here, so... Yeah. That coring is taking a little bit, so let's go ahead and boost up to speed 4 so we can get that done. Actually, I can take my stack here and move into this one. Fight off that small stack that Saxony had going, and we'll park our stack there and try to siege out their capital, I guess. I somehow don't have enough people? Is that what that's saying? Too few men to siege the province. Isn't that something? I've got seven stacks sitting there. Um, uh oh, Rebel Uprising in Cleves, probably because I'm trying to core it currently. Uh, we're getting up there, we're getting closer. That'll help the unrest in that province um, gain eek. Okay, just had to take a stability hit, otherwise I would have crazy autonomy boosts like all around me. Uh, almost enough admin power to boost our stability back up, but that needs to go back up ASAP because my national unrest is killing me right now. We could have some big rebellions pop up between Nassau and Burke. Uh, so we're going to have to stabilize the country, I think, a little bit after this war. My allies are now helping me over here in this siege, so that's good. I was about to pop out another infantry unit, so we don't have to do that. Nice. Uh, looks like Austria accepted peace from Hansa. The Hansa. Still at war with Cologne, though. I wonder if I could peace out early. It would piss off. Um, it would piss Austria off for the time being. Okay, boosted the stability back up there. Uh, we do have some eek, some war exhaustion happening. Okay, the war with Saxony is now over. Unfortunately, I have a truce with them now, I would think. Yep, until December of 1462. Man, Aachen wants to be my friend so bad. Let's see if they're willing to take a vassalization from me. No. I'm not strong enough to do so. 
pause it really quickly here. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. Unpause yet again. Uh, so now, I guess I've got to keep my military maintenance up because I've got the uh, separatists over here in Cleves trying to take me out. I gain 10 years of separatism if I... Okay, so we're just going to have to deal with that for about 10 years before they finally chill up the F out. My war exhaustion cannot be helping me a bunch, but that's going to burn off a little bit. Okay, still making good money, um, even though I'm fully... Yeah. Let's just go ahead and build another infantry while I'm thinking about it, and we've got the money. Then we'll turn the army maintenance uh, down once I feel safe with these rebellions that are about to pop. Let's see here. Yeah, 70% chance there in Berg. So the cool thing is if you park your stack in the province that's about to have a rebellion, uh, it's almost like the rebels have to take a river crossing in order to um, get the province out from under you. Gain 60 military power. Brunswick's opinion improves. Let's go for that. I'm a big fan of military power, obviously. All right. So who else could we go after, potentially? Frankfurt. Little too big with their allies there. Is there anyone else super weak next to me? Magdeburg. Where are you, Magdeburg? Do, 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 do. Up here. Definitely would not take vassalization from me. Munster. Allied with Verdun. Where the hell is Verdun? And are they even important? Oh, up here. They would have trouble getting to me, and it's a one province minor. Munster also has, let's see, truce with a lot of people, but no one important in terms of my relationships. Munster might be the next guy to go after. Especially if we fabricate claims and whatnot. I'm going to deny that alliance request. That's fine. Okay, 0% overextension, which is great. Let's see here. Now up to 80% on that rebellion, so that's a little scary. I at least have my 8 stack ready to go there. Royal marriage from Onhalt. Where the... Uh, okay, over here. They would take the royal marriage, of course. Offer vassalization. A little bit better of a chance than the other guys, but still. Not something that I think we should do. Okay. I'm going to deny that as well. Oh, I've actually got, um, I'm getting score in an area. Diplomatic rank, nice. Things still look great with Austria. Things still looking pretty good with Saxony. Let's go ahead and filter a diplomat over there. We'll pull this diplomat back from Austria so we can do something else with him. If I go to the relations map mode here, let's see who likes me. Of course, Austria. They've got territory all over the place. Okay. If I go to Austria really quickly, who are their rivals? Bohemia, France, and Venice. So it's, we've got to be sort of 
uh, anti-France this campaign, I think. England might be a good person to talk to, eventually. Eventually is the key word there. We have expanded our empire, which is good. Um, but we've got to get ready for these rebellions that are going to come. So about three years from now uh, might make sense to drop our army maintenance. Just a little bit there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed this content. And we'll catch you next time.